Germany says it's now ready to stop buying oil from Russia, clearing the way for a European Union ban on crude imports from Moscow. Now, this comes as the region's largest economy says it could weather shortages and price hikes. Kim Yo Sun has more. In a major shift in its stance, Germany says it's prepared to support an EU wide embargo on Russian oil. To this end, the country's foreign minister said in a televised interview Monday that Berlin is making preparations. The comments come a day after Germany's economy and climate minister explained that he expects his country to be fully independent of Russian crude oil imports by the end of summer. Meanwhile, the EU's energy policy chief says that paying in rubles for Russian oil as requested by Moscow would breach the bloc's sanctions. Paying in rubles through the conversion mechanism managed by the Russian public authorities and a second dedicated account in Gazprom Bank is a violation of the sanctions and cannot be accepted. The 27-member bloc further explained that there is no immediate risk to the region's supply security with deliveries to Poland and Bulgaria continuing via alternative routes from Greece and Germany. The news comes as our Ukrainian commander at the Azov South Steel Plant in Mariupol confirmed with CNN that a large plume of smoke is coming from the facility where thousands of people have been sheltering for weeks. The soldier, however, would not provide details on which part of the plant was hit, noting they do not want the Russians to correct their aim. The video was first posted on Telegram by a pro-Russian channel on Monday evening local time. In related news, the U.S. believes that the Russian military's chief of the general staff visited Ukraine's Donbas region last week. But a U.S. defense official explains that Washington cannot confirm media reports that he was wounded while fighting there. The Pentagon official said that the Russians have made only, quote, minimal gains in Donbas over the past days. The official also added that Moscow has launched over 2,100 missiles at Ukrainian targets since the onset of its invasion, saying that the U.S. has sent over 5,000 Javelin anti-tech missiles to Ukraine so far. The official further explained that the assistance does not impact on Washington's defense readiness condition. Kim Hyo-san, Arirang News.